What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to House Flipper again and more story time. Uh, this is the last mission of House Flipper. And then I get into doing just random houses and trying to make some profits. This is a lot. Uh, this one is the gym workout one. Yep, I gotta make a gym. You see how messed up this place is? It's crazy. So crazy. Now guys, if you happen to be watching me um, doing this flipper and enjoying my story time, smash that like button. Um, if you left a comment, I'd like to say thank you so much for leaving a comment. I really appreciate it. Um, I know, I had no right to be talking about this stuff and happy I'm probably saying, damn, she's giving us a whole history about her life. Guys, do I care? No, I do not care. Okay, and the reason why I don't care is because I want people to actually learn. Okay, our lives is not 100% perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. And as you can see, mine's is not. But one thing I can say is, I have the love of my life here with me and I chose her okay no one chose her for me I chose her I gotta bring out this gun let's just go um I chose her okay my family didn't choose her nope I did like I said in the previous video my aunt was not happy with my sexuality Everybody else was fine with it. My aunt was the one that was trying to change me. Yep. Yep, she was trying to change me. Um, I was forced to dress like a girl. Didn't like the outfits. She tried to make me her child. That's what I was going to say, guys. She was trying to make me her child. And, um... She put me in dresses, she did perms, uh, hairstyles and stuff, and I was like, this is not me. I don't like this, you know? I didn't like my hair touching my body. Yes, guys, I didn't like it. I didn't like my hair being curled up. It felt like a heavy weight on my head. Um, it's, it's crazy, guys. And... When I realized I was into girls, it was when I was in high school. Uh, it was two years before I graduated, and that's when I realized I was into girls. Um, I didn't know what it was at first. I'm not going to lie, guys. I didn't know what it was. Um, when I realized I didn't like my hair a certain kind of way, and I kept putting it in a ponytail... My aunt was getting mad and upset because why you're here in the ponytail? Stop putting your hair in the ponytail. And I'm looking at her like, I don't like my hair that way. That's why I'm putting it in the ponytail. She was always getting mad because she saw where I was going. But I didn't know where I was going, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know at all, you know? It's like she knew. She's like, damn, she's gonna turn gay. Now, my other aunt was a lesbian I didn't turn lesbian because she turned lesbian nope did I care if she was a lesbian nope not at all did her sister care yep she did and she told and my aunt told her I'm still your sister no matter what even though yes I like girls and yes I was mistreated by the men you get what I'm saying she she was still learning her sexuality too she got two amazing sons, two amazing sons, which is now my brothers because of the situation. My cousins became my brothers. Yep. My cousins became my brothers and sisters um, because we all were raised together. So you might as well say that's your brother and that's your sister. You know, I know it's kind of weird, guys. That's why we all be like, what's up, bro? What's up? We always say bro and sis. 
even though we're cousins. Because we were raised together. Like, it's kind of hard not to call him your brother and sis because we all were raised together and we were all basically there for each other. So, I for number one. Yeah. Realize my sexuality when I was in high school. I was looking out the window and just staring at this chick's butt. I don't know what made me look at the girl's butt. And one of my homegirls is like, yo, what you staring at? I said, huh? She said, what you staring at? And then she looked out the window. She said, you were staring at her butt, wasn't you? I said, no. She was like, yo. Yo. You with the girls? I said, I don't even know. <laughs> at that time, I was with a boy. I had a boyfriend. And it wasn't working out. Okay, and it was good. Everything was fine. No, I never had sex with him. Nope, no sex, guys. You know how most people when I was in high school find their first boyfriend, and then all had this and that, and then the boy wants to have sex with you, and you have sex with him, and then next thing you know, you pregnant. Yep, nope, nope, that didn't happen to me, guys. <laughs> um. My first, first, first boyfriend was in New York City. That's another time, guy. I'll tell you guys that story another time because I was close to pregno. Um, So, yeah, I learned from that. That's why I didn't do it in high school. I learned from that. And I was in the elementary school when that happened. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, I learned that I was actually into girls that day. And I'm like, oh my God, that explains my situation. So me and her is just sitting there having a conversation. And she's like, you okay? I said, no. She said, what happened? I said, I'm gay. She's like, okay. She's like, you didn't know? I said, no. She's like, oh. I was like, thanks to you, I realized it. I was in denial. She said, why were you in denial? Because of my aunt. She was like, what? Yes, because she kept trying to dress me up like a girl. And I kept dressing like a... A tomboy. She's like, there's nothing wrong with dressing up like a tomboy. I said, but that's the crazy part. I haven't been looking at guys. I've been looking at girls. She said, what? <laughs> Yeah, crazy. That's how I found out I was into girls. I didn't know how to tell my aunt the situation until the day my grandmother came outside thinking I was in the car with a guy. And grandma's like, what were you doing outside? I said I was in the car. She was like, in the car doing what with a guy? I said, what guy? She's like, you were in the car making out with a guy. And I'm like, Grandma, I'm gay. No, I was not making out in the car with a guy. There was no guy in the car. I know I saw a guy in the car. Oh, Grandma, there's no guy in the car. What, what were you seeing? That's when my grandma was very, very ill. And I should have just left it alone. And I didn't. You know? Stupid me. Didn't leave it alone. And that's the day when my aunt found out I was gay. Because <laughs> I was on the phone in the car having my conversation with my girlfriend on the phone. It was a long distance re relationship. And it was a pain in the butt. And I was like, how the heck am I supposed to see you? You know? And that relationship didn't work. Yep, it didn't work. And then I came upon my lovely wife over here. Yep. My lovely wife. My aunt wasn't satisfied with my sexuality at all. She said, I'm going to hell. The devil's coming for you. This, this, that. Yep. 
She said the devil's coming for me. Thank you, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, she said the devil was coming for me. And you know what I said? Let him. Because there's nothing wrong with just loving a different sexual partner. Because you can't... The thing is, about different sexuality, I can tell you guys. There's nothing against that. At all. Most people actually say there is something wrong with it. But there isn't, guys. Okay? You love who you love. And remember that. Okay? Um, yes. Being gay is a sin. But, who said it's a sin? Who said it? That's the part. Who made this a sin? Because, if you look into the Bible, people want to believe what they want to believe. But I noticed that some people are putting stuff into the Bible that is not even there in the Bible. Okay, I grew up with church. Yes, guys, I have grew up with church. I went to church because my babysitter made me go to church. May she rest in peace. I'm going to miss you. It was my aunt, and she passed away. She raised me, and she was a good one. Okay, even though I totally forgot about her when I moved out here in Pennsylvania, and then when she finally, when I finally saw her, I felt stupid. You know, how could you forget somebody who raised you? This is the part, guys. Um, remember to remember people who have raised you. If you don't, guess what? You will have that biggest grudge on you when you go to their funeral. And you know what? I did. My wife saw it. I couldn't believe I forgot about her until I saw her. And I felt so bad because of the simple fact she has been good to me my entire life. She never abused me. Nope. Never abused me at all. She took me to church. She did my hair and everything when I was little. And then I totally forgot about her. I moved on with my life and I'm forgetting about a lot of people. This is the this is the part. You know, when you don't stay in contact with people, how are you supposed to remember people? You only remember them when you see them. You get it? When you move into another state or move somewhere and you don't stay in contact with the ones that you're supposed to stay in contact with, what happened, guys? You forget about them. Correct. Because guess what? They don't stay in contact with you. So whose fault is that? Is it your fault? No, it's both of your fault. Because guess what? No one stayed in contact with anybody. This is the thing that I'm trying to actually get people to see. It's not your fault alone if you forget someone. Nope. I'm just gonna come back and just pick those damn things up. They're annoying. Um, but no, it's not your fault. It's both of y'all faults. Because y'all didn't choose to stay in contact with each other. You moved on with your life. And you have your own issues. And you forget. The ones. The good ones. And then they make you feel. Like. You're the one. That's wrong. Guys. You're not. You're not wrong. Okay. That's one name I'm going to let you guys know. You're not wrong. I wasn't wrong. She tried to make me feel wrong. Yes, she did. Because when I saw her at the house, I said, oh my goodness. Hi. I. And then she was like, oh. Now you know who I am. And then my aunt made me look like I was the worst thing in history. Yep. She's married now, she got a car, she got this, she got that. Like that, you just made me look like a freaking bitch. You know? No. 
I'm the one that's supposed to be talking to you. Not you talking to her about me. You get what I'm saying? This is the reason why I get mad at some people when they do that. Let us do the talking. Alright? Why is it that they always gotta be the ones who are the talking? And try and make us look good. But, you made us look bad. You know? Let me talk. And then when I told her, I'm sorry, I just been going through some stuff. Oh yeah, you've been going through some stuff. I said, I forgot about you. At least I was being honest. And she said, yeah, but I ain't forget about you. Now, this is the crazy part. Sometimes you forget about the ones that actually are their dearest to you. Because the simple fact is, you're overly stressed because of what? The ones that's supposed to be dearest to you. And you forget about them. Guys. Like I said, it's a learning experience. I'm still learning. Like I told you guys. Um, I'm still learning. My wife's premiere is about to start at 3 o'clock. I'm going to try and get this done before 3 o'clock. Like I said, I'm still learning, guys. My phone's going off like crazy. But yeah, I'm still learning. This is the weeds. Where the fuck is the damn weeds at? Why is my phone going off? Is that a text message? Nope. Everybody's going live. That's what's going on in premieres. Guys, like I said, you can hear my phone going crazy. Yes, it is, guys. It's going crazy. Um, there's still weeds. Where, where the hell? What do you mean there's still weeds? Where the fuck is the weeds? Are you talking about there's still weeds? Oh, it's right here. There it goes. But yeah. Just want to let you guys know, I'm still me, you know, I may be lost in the head, but it's called life learning experiences, guys, you have to learn, and I have, I've learned so much throughout the years. Yep, I learned so much throughout the years. Like that, it's a life learning experience. Yes, it is, guys. And if you don't learn, you're not gonna get anywhere, guys. You're not gonna get nowhere. I, for number one, I've. I, I don't want that bicycle thing near. Stop, 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 stop. Um, I'm still learning, guys. <laughs> One, two, three. But yeah, I'm still learning. Just letting you guys know, we are still learning. And I'm happy I'm still learning. You forget those who are dearest to you. And wow, just because that little ass freaking little. I swear, sometimes this grass shit don't really make any sense. But yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. I'm just gonna grass this whole freaking area because that 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 that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna grass it because I know that's grass. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys with half of the stuff, even though I probably did. Some of y'all are probably saying, "Damn, it's a fucking game. You're giving us your whole story." The fuck, guys. If you don't want to be in my daggone freaking story situation, then get the heck off my daggone channel. That's all I gotta say, guys. But as I was saying, guys, um, 
everything you do will open up. It will all make sense in due time. Like I said, some of y'all don't understand why this, why that, why this, why that. I'm them. I'm the same person that be doing the same thing. Why? 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 I'll be lost. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be lost. Why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even be known. Does nothing make sense until it happens to you? Like I said, it's a lot of life experience out there in the world. This still says. Is this the reason why I don't like the grass? This is the reason why I don't like grass. Uh, this grass situation don't never make any sense. <laughs> now, guys, you just saw me do the grass over here, right? Um, this is all covered. And it's all covered. And it don't make sense. <laughs> Alright. So... No, it don't make sense. That's all I gotta say. The grass situation never makes any sense. And it makes me go over it like numerous times until I freaking get it. I don't know where there is no grass. Cause I just grassed this whole area right here. Just to see, this is the reason why I hate doing the grass, guys. This is why I hate doing the grass. Because I'm gonna do it extra large. Fuck this shit. Now, watch this shit. Watch. Roll, bitch, roll. Yeah, but this shit don't make any sense. It don't make no sense. Well, I know this is supposed to be sand. I know that. But who is missing? Who the hell is missing fucking grass? There's grass here. What the fuck, yo? You know what? I'm gonna do. You know what? Fuck this shit. Let's sand this shit. I'm not fighting with that. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight with that, guys. Nope. I'm not fighting with that. That grass could kiss my ass. All right. So um. Hopefully I can just get half of that shit done. Now I gotta fuck with sand. Okay, and shit. Fucking sand. I hate sand. So yeah, um... It's a life learning experience for everybody. I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over again because I keep forgetting what the heck I'm talking about. Because, like I said, I have a disability. I do have a disability and sometimes people like to use that against me and my family is good for that for sure they use that stuff against me all the time and they think I'm stupid and I'm not so if any of y'all have disabilities and your parents like to use that against you don't let them okay they, they, they try and get you and make you feel like you're stupid. But you're not. Okay, so I have a learning disability. Yes, it may not seem like I do, but I do. I have a learning disability. Okay, my wife does too. Nobody's perfect, like I said. I said that more than once, guys. I know I'm not. I can take a joke, and sometimes I can't take a joke. And the reason why is because... When you go through stuff, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, you know, I could tell when somebody's joking. I could tell when somebody's not joking. I could tell when somebody's lying. And I could tell when somebody's not lying. So, guys, be true to yourself. That's all I gotta say. Because guess what? I'm being true to myself. And I'm happy I am. And I'm going to stay true to myself. Big time.
I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do this, but I, my time frame is almost up on the recording. I don't know if I started this a new one. I don't even remember. I told you guys, I've just been busy like talking and doing so many video takes. It's crazy. Like I said, if you like this, comment down below. You know, I know you're listening to my conversation, but how do you like my design? You know, my crazy design situation, the way I laid out the stuff, you know, why you was listening to me talk. Like I said, I don't want no remorse. No, guys, I don't want that. I don't need it. I just wanted to tell you guys a story why I play house flipper instead of y'all just basically just sit there and be like, what in the world? And I'm quiet during the whole process, you know? I tried to make it more entertaining and get you guys to actually know more about my life. Um, will my wife do the same? I don't know. I don't know. It's up to my wife what she wants to do. I'm totally different than my wife. Yes, I am. I like to chat. I like to talk. I like to meet new people. You know what I mean? I'm the type that actually love people. I love meeting new people. I love to get to know new people. And I'm... Um, what the hell is missing? You see what I mean with this freaking game? No, this game don't even make any sense. So I'm, oh, I'm missing areas with the sand. Where? 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 You see what I mean? It's just freaking, thank you. God damn you. All right. So yeah, I'm happy with who I am. I'm just gonna just buy these things because these things is crazy. Uh, we're supposed to be having a friend over today. We don't know if she's coming over today. So if I <sighs> happen to cut out real quick because she's on the way. I'm not making this perfect, guys. Just letting you guys know. Nope. I'm not making this thing perfect at all. Um, supposed to be a workout station. Apparently. And I'm getting hungry. I am literally getting hungry. Getting hungry. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm not going to be making this perfect guys because I've done this already on mine so I'm just gonna toss it here toss it there um I'm gonna go that way because everything's facing in that direction I don't do with these exercise equipments I've seen them on the beach yes so it's like this person wants a beach in the yard um <laughs> I'm not that type of person I've seen it on the beach and it looks pretty cool. Have I done it? No. No, I haven't. I see it in the gym. Yep. But I'm not, I'm not messing with these things. Nah. I've never been to the gym. Because I have. Planet Fitness. I went there with my cousin. And we was actually doing pretty good. We did good. I like the treadmill more than anything. I need to get back into Planet Fitness, me and my wife. Hopefully we could do that once we start getting better income coming in. And we can start going back to the gym and start working out again. Maybe that's what we need because my body has been owning me for the last couple of months. Um, my legs been giving out from remote, you know, constantly. Yep, my legs been giving out, guys. Uh, last night we went shopping and I almost fell trying to get into the the bus. Yep. Okay, so this is done. Okay, I play four, four what, four of these. But yeah, um. That is not correct. Uh, 
excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Confidious. Bushes. Which one? Which one do you want me to do? I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. I'm supposed to calculate one here. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, but yeah. Oh, so, yeah. It's like you know, I gotta get back into my situation. Gotta get back into it. I'm not, I'm not into it. Gotta get back into it. Guys, just jump over. Thank you. I gotta get back into it. It's more complicated than anything. Getting back into my whole body back. You know, I'm 37, about to be 38. And my body is totally messed up. Crazy. Don't be crazy. I'm not happy with it, guys. If this game happened to cut out in the process, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this little talk. Because I would not be basically continuing the conversation. Okay. Um... Concrete slabs here. Okay. One. Two. Okay. So right here. Two oval shapes. Shrubs. Okay. One right here. One here, okay, and then two of the other shape. But yeah, I just hope everybody enjoyed this little conversation. Oh god, that's not gonna fit. Okay, so if I put this here, bring this forward, move you. Are you gonna fit behind it? Yes, you should. Okay. Then I can fit the other one next to it, probably. It's messed up how you gotta stand in the spot just to get the daggone thing. It's annoying. Yes, love. I love you, too. Alright, so... Yeah, so yeah, guys. If I happen to not finish this in the process of the recording time, which is actually an hour, please forgive me. Because I'm trying. Place. I'm trying to move as quick as possible in the process, but I'm just like so busy talking, it's crazy, sometimes I get caught up in my conversations and I forget I'm recording, <laughs> that's the reason why I'd rather do a live stream, but I decided to do no live streaming today because of the simple fact there's a lot going on over here. Um, my wife is sleeping. I didn't want to be too loud. Talking to my fellow followers. Well, yeah, I didn't want to be too loud. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. And we got a couple more stuff to do. Let's place the bike rack. This is a big ass thing. I'm gonna place it. I'm just gonna place it, guys. Oh, I need one more. And, um, just comment down below if you're actually enjoying this. This area right here, they keep talking about move the lawn. Move the lawn. I don't know what they mean by move the lawn, but let's 
mow the lawn. I forgot how to fucking drive the damn thing. Red grass, roll it. I don't know where the heck they want me to roll it over here. So I mow the lawn. Okay, that's done. Let's just mow this lawn real quick. That's what I'm saying, guys. There's like so much to do. Okay, uh, place those 16. Sixteen. But yeah, um, that's that. I'm just hoping you guys enjoyed this little video of me yapping dapping. I I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm just trying to get this thing done. This thing it does it even matter how you do it? No, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. No, it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get it done. Um. Sometimes people try and do it perfect. I'm not trying to do it perfect, guys. I'm just trying to get this thing done because I can't stand these two last two that I just did just now inside the video clip are the two worst ones. And I can't stand them because to me, it just doesn't make any freaking sense at all. Okay. It may make sense to you guys and it may have basically be a lot more easier for you guys but for me no especially not when you trying to record I noticed this looks horrible yes it does but I don't care uh, <laughs> doesn't matter how it looks so cameraman be quiet so uh, <laughs> So yeah, I don't want no judgmental here. Not all that great. No, it's not. Okay. There's not a pinch. Um, let me place some two shrubs. I don't know where the heck they want me to place it. These are some big ass things. I don't want that big ass thing. Um, so yeah, you need to hush. Just hush. But yeah, they want me to do some stuff, and I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. You know, just going to line them up. Three of these. Oh, God. One. Two. This, this is the thing. They always want you to put these things in the smallest areas. Why do people do that? I never understood the concept of that, you know? You always want us to put these things in the smallest areas, and then it just looks so weird in these areas. Okay. Put, 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 and put. Okay, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what is the concept of it. I, I don't know. Sorry guys, I gotta put y'all in the, the ground because I can't see. You can't see! <laughs> Working in the dark. Okay, so, yeah. Oh yeah, it's crazy. I don't know how people do this stuff. I worked in a lawn and garden department, yes. But man, I, I've I've done landscaping as well. And I've never done any landscaping like this before, you know? This is like so crazy how close it is to 
a thingy, you know? Cover. Water. But yeah, I'm just like... So confused. And sometimes this thing doesn't actually register, as you can see. But... I've never done anything like that. No. So, I saved the two of the worst for last. But these two are the challenges. These are the challenges, guys. Oh, D. There's still one left. It's a challenge. Alright, so the issue that I'm having right now is this right here and this right here and I got this back piece right here to worry about. Uh, where is the trash? You keep saying remove the trash. Where is the trash? Because I don't see any trash. What trash do you see? Because I don't see no trash. Does anybody see trash? Because I don't see none. What trash? What is trash? What is the trash? Guys, I don't see no trash here. So, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes the game does a little glitchy glitch. And it doesn't make any sense, guys. Just want to give you guys heads up. This game glitches. Yes, it does. It tells you something there, and then it's not there. And I get very frustrated. And then y'all are going to see me not finish this. And then I have to do this off camera. Because of the simple fact of this stupid freaking game not registering correctly. You know, it's saying trash, and there's no trash um, anywhere. And this is the crazy part, because I don't see no freaking trash. Do you see trash? Because I don't. And then over here, it says mow the lawn and place plants. Okay, I'm just like, I'm so confused. This is the reason why this thing gets on my nerves. The lawnmower don't even listen. <laughs> now, I have to place four plants in this little area. See, this is the thing with this game. It just literally does the stupidest thing in history. Yeah, it's just the stupidest thing. And if you happen to be hearing, yes, that the fire department is literally down the street. So, they are always on call every day. We are literally across the street from the fire department. I know, it's so, so annoying. So, if I happen to end this video without y'all finishing it, I am so sorry guys because I don't even know how much longer it is until it's done recording so stay tuned for another house flipper and it's gonna be me um, doing a house 
okay? Um, this thing keeps telling me to fucking put grass, and I just put freaking grass here. What kind of freaking grass do you need? This is nonsense. How much grass do you need? Okay, that's complete. That's complete. What is not completed? What trash? I'm confused. Where is it? There is no trash here. Guys, do you see any trash? Because I don't. Guys, guys, guys. Do you guys see trash? Comment down below if you see trash. Because I don't see no trash. There is no trash here. This is the last area, guy. This is the last area. Where is the trash? Is it in the tree? Because I don't see any trash. Guys, there is no trash here. None. Now you see. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm frustrated because this is done and it's telling me there's trash where is the trash where's the trash at because I don't see none now the game is trash talking me yo and I don't see no trash ladies and gentlemen I hope you actually enjoyed this little talk because this is where I'm in the dang on freaking thing because <gasps> there it goes. Look at it, it's right there. Yo, yo, it was up there. Okay, so what else is left? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm about to say, yo, I'm leaving. <laughs> yo, the trash was in the air. Yo. Did you see that trash floating in the air? Because I did. That trash was floating in the fucking air. Yo, I'm like, yo, where the trash is at? Yo, did anybody spot that? Comment down low if you spotted that shit. Because I know I didn't. Okay, I gotta get the other row. I gotta get that little corner. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Come on. Roll, bitch. Yes, baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! But other than that, guys, I hope you actually enjoyed the story time between these two crazy, crazy freaking house flipper videos. Uh, uh, missions, should I say, instead of videos? I am going to say goodbye, good night, good evening, good everything. I'd like to say thank you guys for actually watching. Comment down below if you actually enjoyed it. Um, if you have watched all of them, let me know on this video right here that you watched them all and what you liked about them all. Um, as of right now, 
I'm glad I got those things done. Next go around inside my video, I will be basically doing the house as I like it. Yes, guys, as I want the house to be. So I will be basically decorating the house to the way I want to decorate the house and seeing where I can actually move because I'm tired of being in this small studio right here. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning up the outside and then once I find me a new location, we're going to be moving there, which should be a whole lot better with the video showing. Yes, guys. So stay tuned for more house flippers. I'll see you guys later. Peace.